Hello and welcome to this week's show. I'm Janet Lewis. And I'm Dr. Lewis. And we are here to bring you another exciting show about your health. Uh, We are calling this one, It's Time to Reset Your Health, because as the country resets their clock and gets back to business and a new normal, it's time that we do the same thing with our health. We've uh, been home, many of us, and not doing things that are real great for us. Uh, There are many of you that have. We're going to address that as well. Um, But there's a whole lot that's been maybe overeating, overdrinking, doing some things that uh, might not have been as conducive to your health as what it should be. Even our little dog gained a half a pound during it eating wrong things. So, well, she was actually eating right things. She just ate too much of it, which is a possibility as well. (laughs) So Dr. Lewis today is going to educate us about uh, what happens to the liver whenever that kind of thing happens. Uh, The, you know, the dangers of what drinking too much does to the liver how to get some of that back. We're going to talk about doing lab work, which if the people out here are new and they don't know about lab work, now is the time to get started with finding out what's going on with your lab. We'll address that. We'll address what's in the lab work that helps us to know whether your liver is having an issue. And those of you that are needing to do lab work again, maybe this will kind of uh, prompt you into knowing it's time to get started and kind of getting a new lease on life. So, Dr. Lewis, can you guide us and help us with this new normal and help us find our way back to health or start our health walk? Yeah, well, I I hope to. (laughs) Uh, You know, first of all, you have to know right from wrong. Uh, Wrong's the fun one. Yep, got us in trouble, didn't it? Uh, we're going to talk about all kinds of things. And, you know, I have people that come in and say, well, I can't lose weight or this or this. The problem is they're focusing incorrectly, and it's really hard to uh, sometimes get somebody to understand. It's really about your focus and where you're putting your energy. Uh, only when you see the wellness that you want rather than the illness that you have will you heal. It's really that simple, but that's not simple to do. Uh, the the fear weakens your immune system, and we've seen many, many examples of that. So we're mostly, you know, Janet wanted to talk about liver. Uh, <clears throat> she didn't want to because we she was reading an article that says uh, drinking, you know, kind of decreases your mental function. It's like, well, if I drink. Now, I don't drink heavy, never have, but uh, sometimes people have a better liver than others, and you know, I learned when I was 19, I was a slow metabolizer of alcohol, therefore I couldn't do much. But some of the liver symptoms that you may not think about could be dizziness, dry skin, uh, burning feet, uh, itchy skin, blurred vision. Some people take liver stuff and say, well, yeah, I don't know, it's weird, my vision's better. Uh, excessive hair falling out, uh, skin rashes, uh, metallic taste, example, for example. But, you know, liver gallbladder, you know, feeling queasy or headaches over the eyes or, or after a high-fat meal, you're having issues, burping, belching, bloating, uh, want to throw up, can be a liver slash gallbladder. And, you know, if you think you have a bad issue, you should always see a GI doctor or internist. If your stools get light colored or greasy, uh, green, if you have to use laxatives all the time, it could be that. It could be a lot of other things, but um, liver's really important. And, and I say this about the liver and I say it about the thyroid. It, you know, it, it's the old saying if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Uh, the liver functions about. Pretty high. It's like, I think it's a quart and a half of blood it filters per minute, and that's a lot. So it has to convert a lot of things, conversion of glucose, uh, and actually protein into fat. Uh, it it acts as a storage, uh, storage unit for vitamins, minerals, sugar, iron, and other needed compounds. There are so many possibilities, and... Pretty much, Janet, and I don't have any notes for this show, so, you know, forgive me if I really go down the rabbit trails, but 
But let me. I think maybe he's been drinking too much. I'm, I'm not really sure. No, I'm just kidding. Not yet. I wish. Uh, <laughs> You know, we're talking about immune system, too, and we're going to get into that because Brian asked something about what did I think was best. Uh, You know, one thing you have to do to build immune health, you have to reduce inflammatory triggers, and that could be many different things. You have to build the metabolic reserve, and the reason I went there is because I just told you that the liver is a storehouse for many of those things uh you have to maintain barrier function that means gi tract those that have constant chronic diarrhea uh or or even constipation the ibs thing uh many of us have all sorts of food sensitivities gluten is probably the biggest one dairy is probably number two it, it it's easier if you avoid or eliminate the antigens or or the things that you're sensitive or allergic to and and you once i got off gluten it's like holy cow i feel so much better but you have to create a healthy microbiome and and it's very very important so i'm really proud that big john sort of encouraged me to make the kombucha because it really does help and i i take massive amount of our encapsulated probiotics janet puts a lot of work into you know, getting the best and at the, at the best cost, too. So there's many, many, many things that you can do. Uh, so, you know, you have to think about the GI essentials, uh, the glutamine, the immunoglobulins, which would be the SBI, the probiotics. Uh, and I had a guy in here yesterday, real young, happy guy, uh, remodels houses. And he says, you know, I went for two months hurting so bad I couldn't even work. And now I got on this turmeric complex. And one other thing, I can't remember. Quercet and bromelain. Yeah, okay, quercet and bromelain, and then the turmeric complex. He says, I don't hurt at all. Uh, Vitamin D is very, very important. So liver is very important. Um, One of the things, you know, with uh, us drinking extra during this time and our livers being affected by it, um, the drinking a whole lot, you're actually at a risk for a niacin deficiency, which you never do think about niacin, but that's a, it's a it's a very big conversion factor that turns into tryptophan. So you need to um, maybe increase your niacin, which we have a niacin slow release, so it doesn't give you that flushed feeling. Helps lower cholesterol too. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing and what you are doing because of the alcohol stuff is actually shrinking your brain to some degree uh, and causing Alzheimer's type symptoms. But one of the things to help with that is called NAC. It's NAC. It's a form of an amino acid. It's another useful tool that's actually known to reduce alcohol consumption and withdrawal symptoms in rodents and cut down cravings in humans. So don't be a rodent. They had a study of people who averaged one drink a week or binge drink uh, 0.3 days a month. NAC increased the likelihood of alcohol abstinence and reduced drinks per week and drinking days per week. NAC is also a huge mucus thinner, um, which we always give to people for lung function because that helps them expel the mucus. Uh, And we carry it here. It's called NAC. Uh, But it's very beneficial for brain function because it may decrease levels of oxidative damage by protecting mitochondrial function and in doing so reduce Alzheimer's risk, especially when you combine it with lipoic acid. And Dr. Lewis is a big fan of lipoic acid. So I thought it was very interesting that you could actually have something that helps detoxify your liver, help with your brain and help reduce cravings for wanting the alcohol in the first place. Yeah, you know, and and we've had our diet all completely wrong and discombobulated for, you know, decades and decades. You know, low-fat diet actually has increased our heavy metal stores, and it's not excreted into the bile and eliminated. So there's more heavy metals in the U.S. due to our 50 years or so of low-fat diet. Now, it needs to be better, cleaner fat. Um... We should be able to excrete all these poisons, the hormones, the drugs, and metabolic waste products, but many times we can't. That's why liver function is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's very, very important. Uh, bile stasis, you know, people that have 
gallbladder problems. And, you know, that's when our medical profession does really, really good. If you let it get too far gone, uh, they can really save your bacon, no pun intended. But you can get the crystallized stones and that, you know, that can obstruct the bile duct or the common bile duct. And that's just because it's not being excreted and it's due to fat itself. Some of the things that cause possible liver dysfunction is the drugs, poor fat, bad fat, consumption, uh, refined foods, the standard American diet, obesity. And, you know, if if you'll really pay attention, people that are most affected by this COVID-19 are the ones that are obese. And I don't think that's the only complicating factor, but... Uh, I think that makes you very weak and having problems that allow your immune system to not function as much. Uh, Free radical exposure, you know, people that are uh, hairdressers, nail techs, uh, welders, people that are in the petrochemicals uh, every day. And now we're in the chemicals all the time. I did want you to mention that also because I was reading an article about that. It's like your, your liver is becoming more toxic from being around a lot of chemicals. Um, and people have been calling us about that because they're actually being exposed to all this extra cleaning. That, yeah, that's really know, a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, at home, I don't even use chemicals to clean at home. I'm I'm using the natural substances, and now, you know, they're bleaching everything down, and you're repeatedly coming in contact with that. One of the biggest causes of cancer is organochlorines. Chlorine. And I was even, you know, at Natural Grocers the other day where I, I love that store. And they sell all this organic cleaning stuff. And they're up there with bleach still cleaning. And um, when your nostrils burn when you walk in the store, that's not a good thing. Yeah. And so people ask, well, could, would you talk about what would help with detoxing from things like that? Um, and because that is a liver issue that you're you're doing that with vital detox is one of the things that we use because it has the uh, cruciferous type vegetables in it that help detoxify the liver it's really happy about that actually coffee helps you detoxify the liver as well so um well i must be perfect (laughs) well you can overdo the coffee too because that's another, another sign, you know. You got you. You can't be an over consumer of everything. It's called moderation, right? Well, I, I, you know, there's a time to follow the rules, and there's a time to be very respectful to the authority figures. But I, I'm not really a very good rule follower, and you know, I always say yes, but, and, and bring up the exception. One of the things, you know, for liver detox and detoxification of all these things is taurine. And most people that do our program, you know, if they if their liver enzymes are not exactly where I like them, I'll put them on the liver support, which I'll let Janet talk about. But I put them on taurine. And taurine is, uh, it's an amino acid that's very important for heart function, uh, white blood cells, skeletal muscle, uh, good for the central nervous system. But it's good uh, for the digestion of fats. And if you're digesting fat better, that means you're going to clear up those some of the stones in the liver slash gallbladder. It helps with the absorption of the fat-soluble vitamins, decreases serum cholesterol levels. Uh, it's good for all kinds of things, heart disorders, hypertension, hypoglycemia. Uh, it's been used for people that have anxiety, hyperactivity, poor brain function which that's the reason I bring that up, because Janet wanted to talk about brain function. And it's good for people with seizures. But it also is good for people that have intestinal problems in candida or an overgrowth of candida, which is about, I'm guessing, this is a guess, maybe 90% of our population. Uh, You have to have B6, and I tell everybody, well, because your liver enzymes are low, you might be going into fatty liver, but you also probably have a low uh, amount of B6, and you've got to have B6 to help folic acid or the 5-MTHF or the B12 to function for not only brain function, but for energy in those mitochondria that she's talking about. And if you don't have enough B6, you have a real big time uh Stress, anxiety, and depression. I said that to one of my sisters the other day, and she started, or yesterday, and she started crying. Which one's B6? Which one's P5P? P5P. Okay. Yeah, I knew it had a, another initial there that we don't just. Dr. Lewis Lewis goes, give them B1, give them B6. I'm like, I need names. <laughs> but, uh, you Made said, my sister cry. <laughs> did you want me to talk about the liver support with sure. uh, B6? 
because a lot of people are going, well, you're giving out all these different things, and I don't want to take a million pills. And if you don't want to do do that, we have one called Liver Support. It is one of our number one sellers. But it has a milk thistle, which you've heard a lot about, that cleans the liver. It has the glutathione in it that helps liver. It has some NAC, NAC in it, alpha lipoic acid. Dr. Lewis was talking about the... Uh, See, she don't even remember. She talked about it. Either one of us. <laughs> okay, I'm in trouble. Shizandra, Barbary, organic turmeric, and the methionine, which is a big liver detoxifier. Yeah. So, you know, then then the other thing with the lab, because you're going, well, I don't even know if I have a liver problem, because how do you even know that? Well, because you live in a toxic society, so even if the enzymes are good, yes, get on this stuff. You'll You'll feel better. You'll sleep better. You'll have more energy. Well, and you can have fatty liver that you may know about but you don't know that that's what it is because that causes things like fatigue and jaundice and swelling in the legs and abdomen and mental confusion and more and they're saying that sugar is a big contributor to that especially in children you don't even think about children having fatty liver but they actually can because it's becoming so prevalent in young children Um, so it's just as bad as alcohol the sugar is so there you go. So and then if you don't know if you have it, you can always do blood work, and we and we check different things because you're you're thinking, well, my doctor looks at my my labs, they tell me I'm fine. Liver enzymes, whenever they become not optimal, tell you that your liver's toxic, and it doesn't have to be out of range, and that's what we look for. It's like, well, we're looking for where they're optimal. You know, you want AST ALTs be 18 to 20 somewhere around there. So if you've got some recent lab work in the last three months look at it and see if your liver enzymes are doing good and if they're not then you know it could be something that you're taking over the counter trying to go to sleep at night if you can't stay asleep at night because you need something to keep you asleep so you go take Tylenol or Benadryl or anything like that the liver gets real unhappy with that and you'll see those liver enzymes go higher so there's natural things that you can take that actually help um, clear that back up and make you sleep through the night. Like NAC is one of my favorite. I always take that at night just by itself. I take melatonin because it's. Uh, by the way, I need to take some of that home. It's kind of a youth hormone. That's why I look really good for a hundred years old. Uh, you know, we we had a, a, a young man named Bradley. He said something very intelligent, I thought. He said he thought God told him that. He said, you can take pills proactively or reactively. And it's like, wow, that's pretty deep. But it's because he saw his parents uh, that took a lot of pills. And he was talking about pharmaceutical drugs, which, you know, some of us need to do that. But uh, he was thinking that maybe if he... If they had taken the nutritional pills proactively, they might have had a different, better life. And I, I think, Bradley, that's probably really smart that you're listening to God. So It is interesting. You're going to do it one way or another. You either take them now or forced into taking them later. Lord only knows what's going to happen with that. I actually had a, a, a young lady call me yesterday. and She wanted to know about her 70-something-year-old mother, and she said, um, there's something going on with my mom. She's like making, she's super anxious. She made three Thanksgiving turkeys before Thanksgiving because she was afraid she was going to forget to make one. And she said, something's not right. And uh, we think it's some of the medications that she's on because they've been known to do that. So, you know, that that should scare you. That's That should really bother you to know that down the road, if you don't do something with your health now that, you don't want to be that person. I mean, that someone's got to look after all the time. You can't be trusted. You can't go anywhere because you can't trust yourself. There, That's not a good way to live. That's why we tell you, do the lab work. You know, it runs 12 different panels of lab. It's, it's so funny with liver issues and that kind of thing as well. Is like many times there's things going on with the liver you're not even aware of. Like we've had people that's had high iron. They've had high ferritin, which is one of the the standard tests we run. It's a stored iron, and it can make the liver enzymes go high. And we had a man that had them high for years, and it wasn't until we ran that lab that he said, oh, my gosh, I didn't know this. He had this rash that had, had broke out underneath his arms, and all he needed to do all along was to go donate blood, and it would have brought it down. The liver would have been happier. 
Yeah, his liver's always had high enzymes. But you don't know those things until you actually see it on lab work. So if you've never had lab work, you go to greenwisdomhealth.com. There's a health survey tab. Fill it out. It'll recommend the panel. We do it across the country. It's generally close to you. We use Quest Diagnostics throughout uh, the United States. And we can get to the root of it. There's no need to guess at what's wrong or why you feel so bad. And then we also want to make sure that we address the people that have been doing the right things. Because we put a question on Facebook, Dr. Lewis did, uh, to tell me what you've done for your health during the last few months. And we were really excited to hear what people had done for their health. Um, you know, some of them, a couple of them had fallen off the wagon, which is common. But there were a lot of people, and we can see by by what y'all have bought in our store you guys have really tried to stay on the wagon and stay with your health because you know how important it is now during all this. And you know that this coronavirus thing is coming back. And you also know that it's a lack of nutrition in most people, the reason why they are sick, because they're not healthy to start with. And there's even been real good articles talking about different uh, nutrients that boost immune system. We can't make those claims, but there's other people out there that are certainly doing that, and it's the ones that we push for immune system. And it's things like low vitamin D. They're finding correlation of people had low vitamin D. You know, those are things that are obvious on our lab. There's no need to to walk around and wait for this stuff to jump you because it doesn't really work like that. It's more of you're not healthy and you're going to get jumped. So if you're healthy, the odds are you're probably not going to get it. And if you do, it's going to be a light case and it's going to go away. I have not had one of our customers yet that's told me they've had it. And that's why we asked that question. What have y'all been doing? And and you get people like Kelly that says, I haven't, I haven't had to do anything because I listened to you and you fixed me up right. And now I'm perfectly healthy. All I can say is Corona, get thee behind me. Is she talking about the beer? I sure. <laughs> okay, Kelly. And then Paula says, following the regimen you put me on after the labs, noticed positive changes all around. And Paula's not been doing it that long, but Paula prays over it too, and that helps a lot. It really does help, and that's why I said you've got to focus on the the wellness you want, not the illness you have. And Melissa said, got back on the Green Wisdom train just in time. She had taken off for a while for some things and then got back on again. She's taking supplements. She's trying to adhere to her diet, and she's staying well. It's like these people are the ones that are not scared to walk out in public because they realize their immune system is strong enough to handle it. They realize they're putting on their weapons of war inside nutritionally and that they're not having to to hide to go outside or not go out at all and live in fear. Oh, well, I like the way Jonathan from New Mexico answered. He said, exercise, eat healthy, build up my immune system, keeping my eyes firmly fixed above, having an attitude of joy, trading barbs and jokes with the mustachioed good doctor. <laughs> I like hey, that. I love it. Yeah, that's great. I like that too. Janet, not me, but she thinks very much like me. Uh, she, she did her blood work again. She's taken her supplements. She has a heart of gratitude. That's a huge one. I mean, you're thankful for what you have, and you're thankful for all the, you know, there's still so much to be thankful for, even during all of this. You had time to spend to get back to peace and uh a new start and to stopped look for all places the, to be more kind to other people. Yeah. The people are all being so nice that we're running into because they're, they're not so stressed. There was, we have all been so stressed and it's just kind of taken all that away and giving you a fresh start. Um, she's, she's doing her diet. She's eating more veggies. She's having as little sugar as possible. Um, you got Janet, another Janet, see these Janet's all, all up with their health. Uh, she's taking her supplements. She got a, a new puppy, so she's walking more. Uh, and they're also more stressful, she said, at times. She's right. Lots of people got new puppies because they realize that that's, uh, it's a light. It's an energy. We we had our little girl. She's almost three. That's why we got her, because it made us walk more. We'd go to the RV park. It's like, well, we wouldn't move. We'd just sit in there and watch everybody else walk. But with her, we have to walk. So that's... Whatever you need to be motivated to to do something, you need to find that. Yeah, and I like Brian's, and Brian's from around Nashville. He said disinfect with alcohol, but I know Brian's very uh, spiritual slash religious too. Um, 
you know, we, we got a lot of good answers. You know, Cricket said starting uh, an online energy course, she's learning to clear her mind. And then Kelly, <laughs> she's my cheerleader. She said, stop watching the news. So you got to be really, really careful uh, what you put in your mind and in, in your spirit as well as the nutrition. That's exactly right. And then I wanted you to address, because uh, Brian asked a question, and um, he's wanting to know, what would be better to help of trying to avoid getting COVID-19? Would you say quercetin, green tea and zinc, or the multi-element buffered C? Which uh, we were out of some of those things for a while because everybody knew they worked. And um, thank goodness that we're getting them all back in now because everything's kind of calmed down or everybody has a stock of them or something. I'm not sure. Um but what would you recommend for moving forward in the future for people to take is just kind of a regimen, and is that something they need to stay on, or what are you telling people in general, Dr. Lewis? Well, people ask me all the time, when can I get off this stuff? I said, as soon as you can quit uh, putting gas in your truck or diesel, in, in my case. You've got to, you know, Bradley said it best, you know, take pills proactively or reactively, uh, and it can be different types. I don't know the answer to to what is best. Personally, I take them all, but uh, I, I and he didn't ask about immune essentials. I told Brian that eh, okay, I do immune essentials too. The multi element buffered C is a really really good thing. Straight vitamin C is ascorbic acid. It's not necessarily a good thing. So this is the calcium ascorbate, potassium ascorbate, magnesium ascorbate. And then it has enough of uh, calcium carbonate just to buffer it. Um, the, but it has zinc and it has copper, which zinc, if you take it by itself, will usually deplete your copper. So it's a good thing to put it in there together. And, you know, we're talking about trax and we're talking about manganese. And that's why I love this multi-element uh, buffered C is because the, the copper and the manganese and the potassium, it makes a big difference. And it has a little bit of quercetin, quercetin in it and some glutathione. It's really good, good, good. Janet, at first, she didn't really like it. She said, that costs too much. I said, well, there's 250 capsules in there. It's like four months worth. It's not that expensive if you think, well, it's going to last you four months. I personally, and Janet and Brandy handled the inventory here, and they do a really good job. It's a hard job, especially nowadays, but I think I'm going to try to talk them into keeping that. So uh, is that something that you would recommend that someone stay on? I mean, can you give yeah. people like just some basic things that it's not overwhelming to them, but a few things that they could kind of put in their arsenal that they yeah. could just stay with because you realize this is not leaving anytime soon. And apparently in the fall, it's going to return like the flu. So again, it's the same basic kind of things that you could stay on, right? Well, yeah. And uh, I, a lot of people don't stay on the multi. It's like, well, that's the first thing you should take and stay on. People say, well, I, I don't feel the difference. It's, I don't care how you feel. You might not feel heart disease or cancer for 20 years, but what if you took something that may have allowed your body to detoxify? If you, if it doesn't show up because you have taken those pills proactively, if it doesn't show up, how do you know you prevented it? Uh, who knows? But it's just crazy. You know, I just paid to have the oil changed in my truck, and it's like, holy jeez, that's expensive. But, you know, buying a new diesel engine would be kind of a lot more expensive. So I'd say the multi, first and foremost, the multi, uh, buffered, multi-element buffered C is a good thing. I take the immune essentials, and, geez, I don't know what Janet puts in my drink. It's a lot of stuff. See, and I think zinc is important. Um, and, and we had the regular zinc, a uh, high milligram zinc for a long time. I actually think we're going to continue the zinc we have now, which is the zinc plus, because it's um, it's more reasonably priced for people. And it has some different um, minerals in it that we found we actually like. We're getting some really good feedback on it. Helps absorption, too. So you actually get more bang for the buck. It's like nine bucks or something. You can stay on that. So that's not expensive to stay on. The vitamin D, I think, is very that is something you really need to be on and people if you're low in it especially if you're over the age of about 40 you really need to do the one that's the d3 plus k2 because your absorption's probably bad so um i think those are good things to stay on and i personally love immune essentials that's another one i'm going to stay on because it's all the mushrooms and the green tea 
But um, we're nearing the end of our show, and I would wondering if Dr. Lewis has got anything else he'd like to add in before the close of this show. Yeah, one thing that we have not talked about, and I think people should really, really consider, is uh, selenium and iodine. You know, iodine, uh, you know, if you have Hashimoto's, most of the experts say don't take it, but then there's other experts that say you can take a lot of it. Uh, iodine deficiency in children, for example, can result in, say, mental retardation. Uh, it's Iodine deficiency has been linked to breast cancer and associated with fatigue, uh, weight gain, hypothyroidism, et cetera, et cetera. So some people just take our iodine forte, which is just 12.5 milligrams, I think, if I remember right. And we've had many people with hypothyroidism that, got really incredible results and you know you just do one a day and there's 90 in there so you know one inexpensive bottle can last you three months what else should you do be like kelly quit listening to the news you know try to do something you know there's a lot of negativity out there and i i personally think it's 90 percent uh baloney uh sorry almost said it but you know, you have the power, folks. You have the power to make a huge contribution to the world. So make sure you're kind. Make sure you're happy. Be a good example for other people. That's good. And with that being said, you guys start doing your labs. I'm sending out reminders now. You're new to our show. Start filling out the health surveys. Get started now. Today is a new day. Hope you guys have a very blessed week, and we'll be here next time on the Green Wisdom Health Show. Once again, our show has come to an end, but your hope in your health is only beginning. If you or a loved one are in need of a different outcome and are waiting for a brighter future, take the first step and go to our website and fill out the health survey. Please don't keep us a secret. If you know someone that could benefit from this podcast, please share this show with your friends and family. You're only one step away from a life worth living.